All right. All of you might be in different stages of this business, and you might be in a startup stage, okay? You might be where you're stagnant, trying to figure out where to go from here. You might be growing and doing fine. You just want to do better. Doesn't matter. What we're going to talk about and uh, get it into the slide, there you go. Because we're going to talk about a uh, slideshow from the beginning. There you go. Uh, over there from the beginning. Go all the way to over there. To, for, there you go. There you are. Okay. Um, now my little clicker. There it is. If you want to hit the $794,000 mark, then that's going to require a system. And what I like about Rand is he's created a system to teach you how to license. It was lacking in the industry, wasn't it? Okay? So he put it all together, took his expertise, and created a system. We're going to talk about together now a system of marketing for your business. Okay? A system of taking intellectual property sitting in your business right now, or we'll call it hidden marketing assets, all right? Because they're hidden, just as he taught. They're sitting there. Dust is gathered on it. It's hidden in files, it's hidden in computer software, it's hidden in your brain. I'm going to tell you an example of what I want to have happen for your business is I'm talking to an engineer of a company and he owns a company that makes sprinkler pipes for farmers in the field. All right? I said, what makes your sprinkler pipes so good? And he says, well, I have a PhD. <laughs> I asked him again. I said, I don't care. <laughs> what makes your sprinkler pipes so good? Well, I went to six years of college, got my PhD in engineering. I don't care. <laughs> Then I asked him, now, does your sprinkler pipes last longer than other sprinkler pipes? Oh, absolutely, because I got a PhD. <laughs> I said, do they perform better than other pipes in the field? Absolutely. Will you guarantee that? Well, absolutely. <laughs> now does he have something that matters to the farmer in the field? See, we took an intellectual property, which was up here, and turned it into something that mattered that he could sell. Are you with me? Yes. That's taking an asset and making money with it. Are you with me? That's taking intellectual property and making it into money. All right? We have a manufacturer who sells power equipment that power washes decks off the oil fields and makes them clean. I said, we've got to get you out of the power washing business. Well, why? If I do that, I'm out of business. <laughs> and I said, if you keep selling power washers, you're going to get killed because you're too expensive. Your power washers cost more money. So we better sell something else. Well, then what are we going to sell? Do your power washing equipment last longer than others in the field? Absolutely. Do they perform better in controlling and reducing the cost of operating that oil field? Oh, absolutely. You're telling me then that a general manager of an oil field who's sitting out there in the middle of the ocean 
is going to have lower operating costs because of your equipment and not the competition. Absolutely. Why? Because mine's more reliability. Mine will, will perform better. Then that's the business that you're in. You with me? See what we did? What did we do? We got them out of what business? Why did we have to get them out of that business? Why? It costs too much. They, won't, they weren't selling. And what business did we get them into? Reliability. Because that's what mattered to the guy on the oil rig. Are you with me? That's what he cared about. But did he know that? Did the guy on the oil rig know that? No, my manufacturer had to start selling it to him. Are you with me? We're not selling power equipment anymore. That's taking intellectual property and turning it into money. He had four inside salespeople. Their closing rate was 20%, meaning they would give 10 quotes and close two of them. That closing rate shot up to 80% because he started selling what really was his property. Are you with me? Okay, something that he could sell that no one else could sell. It was the intellectual property he owned, but he didn't know it. Are you with me? Yeah, we're with you. All right. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we mean by creating exponential sales. 30, 50, 100 percent or more. So if you want to grow your business, we got to start taking intellectual property and making money with it that you already have sitting in your business. We want to increase your cash flow faster and increase profit. We're going to be using a 20 year old proven marketing system. The only system that can quantitatively show you how to get exponential growth. So we're going to show you by the math how it's going to happen. I'm going to prove it to you. Okay. We're going to talk about innovation. That's all that he was talking about this morning. Is how to get paid for innovation. Okay. Because you got to do it today. If you're not innovating and helping people buy what you've got, what you really got, then you're not going to make it. And we think that you'll have one of the most innovative marketing systems in your business, okay, that your competition does not have. All right, so that's our goal. So what is marketing? Tell me what it is. Marketing is the umbrella between selling, advertising, and product, and product development. Okay, he called it an umbrella of selling, advertising, and product development. What is it? What's marketing? Putting yourself out there, basically. Put yourself out there. Telling the world what you have. Telling the world what you have. Bringing forth the products and or services to a hungry market for them. Oh, y'all make me warm and fuzzy. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's okay. So <laughs> Bring it to the world, baby. <laughs> yes. Marketing doesn't bring it. Pushing past Is what? Marketing done right is the quickest path to the sale. Marketing is sales one to, you know, to many rather than to one. Selling to many rather than to one. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. You're all off. <laughs> You're just way off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just have to tell you, man. Uh, that is the worst I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Fill a need. Now we're getting closer. Fill a need. Okay. All right. Well, I know. Oh, yes. 